Alrighty everybody, I have this computer here with this touchpad where when I press it, it doesn't click. And when I'm using the computer, it works, it'll move the cursor around, but when I kind of tap it like this or when I push it all the way down, it doesn't make that clicking noise that we're, we're used to hearing, you know, the tick, 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 so you know it's kind of working. And when I tap, it doesn't do anything. Uh, and when I press down, it just, it doesn't make the sound that I'm used to. So. I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to dig into the computer and I'll show you a little thing you got to look at. So, uh, first thing we got to do is I'm going to flip it over on the side. And like most computers, there are screws all around. Uh, so, I'm going to take all these screws out. Also, this one came with this little rubber thing that went right here. So, I had to take the rubber thing off and that exposed uh, a screw there as well. So, I'm going to take all the screws out. We got this one, this one, this one, this one, the ones in the middle, the ones down here. By the way, this is an Acer V5122P. Uh, it's kind of a, an older laptop, but the, the concept should be the same, and at least you'll be able to see what the trackpad looks like when we get into there. So I'm going to take out those screws, and we'll go from there. Okay, all the screws are out. They're over here. Um, just going to put them in a pile there. Uh... Another thing you want to pay attention to is in the SD card slot here, there's this little plastic thing. I pulled that out just so, because what I'm going to need to do now is take my screwdriver here and I'm just going to have to pry in here and just kind of work my way around until I can get this plastic case off. Now before you do this, of course, you always want to make sure that you get all the screws out because if you force it and there's still a screw in there, you can break the case. Another thing I need to look at is is I can't really see, but right here is the, the audio jack and it's sticking out a little bit. So I got to make sure to pull this out a little bit to move it over. Um, so anyways, I don't really have, I can't really do this one handed, but again, just take a screwdriver, ply it in and just kind of work your way around until you can get the plastic off. So I'm going to start it and then I'll be back. I started right here. You can see that it's kind of coming up now, and I just you just kind of move the screwdriver around until this is really hard to do one handed, and then usually you can just kind of pull it off. Okay, so the trackpad is underneath the battery, yay! So if we look at the battery, we can see there's a screw right there and a screw right there, and then the battery's plugged into the motherboard right here, so. Uh, the thing I'm going to do is take that screw out, take that screw out, unplug it. You usually can just use your nails and you know, just kind of pull on it with both hands on both sides. Just pull with your nails, pull it out. And then I should be able to lift that out. So I'll take that screw out, take that screw out, unattach that, and then the battery should come out. Now on your computer, it's obviously going to be different. Um, who knows? But just know where the trackpad is. It's right underneath here, and just you'll need to kind of look and see what you need to remove to be able to get to it. So I'll get the battery out, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I uh, remove the screws from there, from there, and then I took my nails, and I just kind of unplugged it and pulled it out. So battery's over there. So this is the trackpad. And what I'm going to need to do next is I need to remove this, this clip here. Um, usually when they look like this, this little ribbon, um, this little black, little black thing here, I, can, I should be able to kind of push up with my fingernail. See? See how that kind of moves up and down? I'm pulling it up, and then I can take the blue part of this ribbon and just kind of pull it out because what I'm going to need to do is you can see there's this little indent here and that's what pushes into the part of the the touchpad that we need to fix so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do undo that screw that one and that one and I'm going to remove this metallic tape kind of get it out of the way and then we should be able to see what we need to from there and then also another thing that's worth mentioning is if I move this out of the way, you can see there's more screws in the back. But I'm not sure if we're going to need to remove those. We'll see that. We'll see in a minute here. 
So I'll remove these screws for now and go from there. Okay, so I got the screws out, I took this off, just kind of took the metallic tape, peeled it off there. Now what we want to be looking at, and what's interesting is I probably didn't even need to remove that, so you may not want to if you're doing this on your computer. But what we're looking at is this little thing here. Um, if I push on it, listen. See, that sound should sound pretty familiar. This is a little bubble thing, and that's how it registers when you press on the trackpad. And this thing right here has this pin right there, and that's what lines up. So this pin, this little thing that sticks out, goes right in the middle of that, and that's what makes the trackpad work. So if I put this back on, oh, I'm sorry, but so what you're going to want to do is see and make sure that this little thing lines up in the middle. So you can take a screwdriver and just kind of push it to where it lined up. Uh, before, this was way over here, and that's what I saw when I first opened it up. So I just kind of took my screwdriver and pushed it more into the middle. So now, if I put this on here, there. now if I push down, we can hear that it lined up and it's actually pushing on that. So that's what you want. So now I'm going to put the screws back in here and we'll be able to uh, put this back together. But that's what you want. You want to be able to hear that. So just make sure that little circular thing's lined up with that pin. Okay, so I got the screws back in. I got the metallic tape back on. Still making the noise. The next fun thing I have to do is put that cable back in. Just kind of have to keep going after it until you can see it goes in, and you can see a little. It's not really zooming in, but you can see a black line right right next to my finger. There you go. When I push that black thing down, you shouldn't really see that black line anymore. That way, you'll know that the cable's in. So I I got the cable in. I pushed it in. It went in a little bit. Then I put down that thing, and I no longer see that vertical black line. So that means we're good. So. I always push all this stuff down. Uh, now, yeah, I'm just going to put the battery back on. So, there's the battery over here. Just put it back, kind of line it up. I got these clips down here. I need to make sure that they're underneath these gray things. We're good. Uh, but I probably, sh I'm going to plug that in first, then set the battery in, and then put the screw in there, put the screw in there. So, I'll do that. Okay, so I put that in first, make sure it's in very tight because that's where the battery gives your computer power. So if that's not plugged in good, you're going to be in trouble. Put the screw in there, put the screw in there, and I made sure all these little tabs were underneath this. Now one thing I ran into this computer, which was kind of interesting, is I put the battery in and then the next thing we got to do, of course, is put this back on. So let's do that. So I got to make sure that this, again, the audio jack thing is lined up. Because that kind of sticks out a little bit. Okay, so line it up. Now I push, you can hear it all kind of click back into place. Now what's interesting is I, ch I tested this before and I turned on the computer without putting the screws back in and for some reason that messed with the battery connection. So I would unplug it from the AC adapter and the whole computer would turn off. But once I put the screws back in, the battery worked fine, which was really weird. So if you're having battery problems and you haven't put all the screws back in, try putting in the screws. That must, I don't know, make everything snug. No idea, to be honest, why I did that. But anyways, once I did that, um, it worked. So I'm going to put the screws back in, and then we'll test the trackpad to see if it's working like it should. Okay, all the screws are back in. I'm going to take a little rubber piece, put it back over this. I'm going to take... The little SD SD drive thing. Stick it back in there. Now the only thing I would mention is like this screw and that screw were longer than the other ones, so just make sure you pay attention to the the screw sizes when you do this. Usually, if they don't fit or if they won't screw in, you're doing it wrong. So just find one that will. 
So hopefully, take a look at that. Isn't that awesome, Superman? Ooh. So open it up, hit the power button. Cool, no battery issue, it's not plugged in, so it's actually turning on, which is great, because that took me a while to figure out and it was a weird, weird fix that I just had to screw it in to get it to work. It was really weird. Anyways, this computer is really slow. Uh, the processor is like a gigahertz. Very fast, I know, dual core. Uh, let's get this plugged in. Okay. Uh, I forgot a screw. Uh -oh. Anyways, I will pause this video and I will resume it once it's booted. Yeah, that's kind of funny, right? When I paused it, it booted. So, okay, so I got the trackpad. So you can see, woo, it's working. Okay, let's hit listen for some sounds. Good. Good. Um, okay, so let's see. Right click, boom, working. Uh, let's go down here, left click. It's just really slow, but it worked great. Oh, and I just tap, and I'm tapping, and that's working too. So happy day all is well. So worked. So the main thing is just get that pin in there lined up to that little circular bubble thing that's on the trackpad uh, circuit board, and, and you'll be good to go. So it looks like everything's working here. And yes. And for some reason, putting in all the screws fixed the battery problem. So yay. Job well done. I'm a happy person. Hope that helps someone out there. See you later, guys.